Thank you for enjoying your sweetest moments, merging timelines. I'm your host, Melly Mels, an angelic Melody Melanie, the airy, very mystic. Today's message I have prepared for a few weeks now, but didn't find a place where I thought I could deliver it. And so today I'm going to try to do it, but who knows? <laughs> All the praise belongs to the Most High. I have my notes. And I'm going to go through them with you today. At this time in our human awareness, due to all the transparency we see coming out today we know that masons built our mind through the pain and suffering of many fallen angels who now fight to uncover its truths providing its ascending angles what is the mason a builder and worker in stone age, beginning of its frame. So as you know, I've been drawing triangles for a while and this abbreviation stood out to me. It's K-U-C, cook. And I looked up the definition for that and I even looked to see who was under this display of Cook on YouTube. I don't have those notes with me today and I don't find that it was the most important part of the message, but that we've talked about Cook before. And the K we know is for the known, it's the father world. We know the U is the unknown, it's the unknown. <laughs> It's for the mother world. We know that C is for the consumer. And so these three angles are how masons have created the mind of the world that we see today. But with its awareness and acceptance and forgiveness, we're able to own its power and receiving its truth at this time. So this was built this stone age was built statistically 2.6 million years ago and its split was in three separate periods right so as you know people have been talking about the three god right i don't even know if that's the sign i just know that um that's something that's being discussed at this time how ironic because I've always talked about three different angles. I feel very uncomfortably placed in a position that I was unaware of. <laughs> Not only that, but I go by M is my symbolism and M is Mason. But I'm only going by M for those who don't know because my name is Melanie. And I created Merging Timelines in 2018 from a desire to merge the two parents I had in understanding their split, where they are today, and where they decide to go so that my mind could be at peace with its fragmentation. Before I get into all of that, let's get into the three angles, of uh, the three separate periods that they're talking about that created the Stone Age. I don't know these words, so forgive me for mispronouncing them, but if you happen to know it, please forgive me. The first stone implements, the first is the Paleolithic Stone Age, right? It's the primitive stone implements were used. Remember when we talked about we were taught to use them. So this is preserving the character of the early stages, right? So stone was implemented where used, right? So people started to, there were these images of stone-aged people using tools and those tools developed over time in 
the next few stages of the three separate periods of the Stone Age. So the next period is the transitional period. It's known as the Middle uh, Mesolithic. Mesolithic. Um, in this period was the period right before the third stage, which is known to be the Neolithic. So it's the beginning of the settled human lifestyle. So this is how the human lifestyle is created. And you see it, the three God has split it in three different time frames, kind of like we discuss on the channel, past, present, future, father, mother, child. Uh, you, you know the angles, um, very many angles to it. One of the ones that I haven't discussed that's really, really important is the, the dynamics of the structures that we have today that is split within the human fragmentation through its lack of understanding of it being the main source of connectivity. And so that angle is the angles in which families come from both parents in the home, the, fam the angle of which families come from just one parent in the home, and then the last angle being the child who was raised by others that is not of their home. Uh, those are the three angles of the kingdom dynamic that create the fragmentation that we see today through its lack of awareness of its individual power. In the Neolithic period, when we found settlement of the human lifestyle, we developed a thing called argiculture, which is a science of the art of practicing, of cultivating the soil, producing crops, and raising livestock, and in very degrees, the preparation and marketing of the result products. So through that that I just described, it was to make you aware from the past, present, future, from the father, mother, child angle, and from the mind frame of a mason that created this being that you see today, which is now one that would rather have things and tools before it would fight for its connectivity of those that it feels disconnected from during evolving it seems to be a storm coming but i'm gonna keep going it's a very beautiful feeling to be out here this is the production of being to business so from being to being business minded individuals which is a lot of our connectivity within one another is a business mind frame. It, it stems from its busyness and its busyness is so that it never really sees who it actually is. I got the angel number 7575. It's a powerful indicator of synchronicity which signifies the alignment of events and experiences in your life. So remain open. That's the message, remain open. Because positive influences, sorry, I just got an update. Positive influences, positive energy that will drive you to do great things. Praise belongs to the most high. Extend your awarenesses, but do not cast them, right? As you know, in the last message, I was talking about judgment and asking for forgiveness for judging as if I was here to define or decide or determine who would be a chosen or a on the right path. Because we know the three angles of being chosen, right? I wrote that down here somewhere, let me find it. The three angles of being chosen, because I tried to decide which way these angles were. 
and I kind of found some sort of clarity in it, but I don't know where I wrote it at. But you know that the chosen means that from before you were created, you were chosen. <laughs> but then in your unknown, through your fall of being, you realize that you were making a choice. Right? So you were choosing at that point. And then through its highest sense of awareness, you then discovered you chose the life you would consume. So those were the three angles. The known is that you've always been chosen. The unknown is that you are currently choosing through discovering yourself. And then the highest angle is that you've chose and you can sit with the things that you chose. Extending is helping is a helping hand while casting is to judge what they don't know instead of becoming the piece of its puzzle. Now each one of us here have a little piece of what someone else is missing and through our compassion, compassionate delivery, we're able to ignite one another without taking from ourselves or taking from them. In that very essence, we both get ignited and we're both then on the same playing field. But the giver has sometimes come across as the person who is above the receiver, but we've passed that because we talked about the teacher and the receiver being the same. We also haven't discussed though that the engineer is the same as the engineered. Let me discuss how you can see that occurring today through the dark ages, which is just a manipulative approach with and it, it's to its manipulative approach is to attack the twin flame. And I see it because I see many people who resonated with its uh, inner standing project something different now.